Okay, so one of the, you know, big topics of the Apple Vision Pro is Persona. And that is the um, scan that the Vision Pro will make of your face uh, in order to have FaceTime conversations. And so uh, in the very first video that we made when we unboxed and did my first impressions of the Vision Pro, I did my first scan of my Persona. And um, it wasn't good. Oh, there I am. I do not... <laughs> Um, uh, this is so weird. I guess that's how I look. The hair's a little weird. I don't look great. And so as you saw there, uh, yeah, it didn't look good. A lot of people had comments at my expense. Some people said this was the best one yet and not in a good way. Someone said I look like a thumb. That was funny little mean, but funny. And um, okay, so anyways, the whole point of this video is uh, there's been some rumblings out there that uh, the beta for Vision OS, so it's now 1.1, .1, um, actually made some improvements to your persona. And some people have had some good success. And, um, you know, we had a uh, episode that will actually drop tomorrow of the Mac Rumor Show featuring Quinn Nelson of Snazzy Labs. And he uh, said that his looked much better than what... Um, he initially did as well. And so I decided that we'll try it and we'll see how this goes. And so we're all going to do this together. I'm going to put the headset on. I'm going to walk through the process one more time and then we're going to look at it. And if it's not any better, maybe we just don't be as mean in the comments. Or am I just opening up floodgates? Who knows? But let's get the headset on and let's see uh, how this looks. So as you can see here, I'm running Vision OS version 1.1. This is a beta. Uh, I've read somewhere, uh, well, actually our own guest that I mentioned earlier, Quinn Nelson, he said that it's horribly unstable. There have been some other people who have said it's fine, and then some people have said it's also still not very good. Um, and so do not do this unless you are prepared to do one of two things. And ol the only way to get down to the launch version of 1.0 is to take it to the Apple Store and they will do it for you. Or uh, you buy the uh, USB-C like strap thing that you would use to, you have to have a developer account, so that's $99. And then it's a developer specific accessory uh, and you would plug it into your Mac. And I believe that way you can get it down uh, to 1.0. So um, that's gonna cost you like three or $400 total. Uh, so yeah, not recommended, but I'm gonna do this for the sake of science and hope that this uh, Vision Pro doesn't become unusable with bad software. And then the back of our hands. All right. Hand setup is complete. And now... To set up your persona, yep. you'll remove Apple Vision Pro. We already know how to set up the persona, so let's do it. Uh, find a well-lit area. Have front lighting on your face without any shadows. Use a simple background. I, I should be following all of this, but I initially scanned my persona last time. Uh, in this exact spot, so I'm gonna do it again. Align your entire face within the frame. Cool. Slowly turn your head to the right. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now, raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. Capture complete. Um, this may take up to a minute left. I will say the, this is taking a lot longer than it did the first time I've done it. So, um, maybe that's good. Maybe it's got more stuff to work with to create a more realistic render. All right. Almost done. Oh boy. And here we go. No, I look worse. Well, the hair looks better. Yeah, I know that, you know, this is the sad realization of getting older, but like the hair looks a little better. I understand my face is round, but I don't feel like it's this round. Ah, man, I'm going to get a lot of people to be like, yeah, no, that's accurate. And I don't. Whew. Yep. Well, I think this does look pretty close to me. It even has the four headlines. I hate that this is accurate, but it's pretty accurate. It definitely is much better 
uh, than the first time around. I'll, I cannot wait to show this side by side, which I'll do now, um, or I have been already doing. I'm going to put that in post here. That's it. I mean, I, yeah, this looks better for sure. 1.1 definitely improves Persona. I'm not saying that I look better <laughs> because I, I, I think it's just a me problem at this point, but, um, uh, there's definitely way more realism in this. And I, honestly, it's still pretty creepy. And it's probably more creepy because of how much better it looks. Also, the hands are a lot better. Look at this. This is great. I feel like this is much better, much more realistic. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why this is this is much more realistic. So yeah. Um, yeah, so if you can let me know in the comments down below what you think of uh, this persona compared to what I had before, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, I will catch everybody. Oh, also, if there's a specific feature, like breakout feature video that you want to see, uh, let me know. But before we end today's video, this is Dan and Vision Pro giving you an update on today's sponsor, Keeper. We have a million devices these days. We have phones, we have computers, we have tablets, we have an Apple Vision Pro strapped to our faces. And uh, it's so important that you know all of your passwords, but you want them to be secure. And so the best way is to just get a password manager. And remembering all of those passwords that a password manager creates is impossible. So you need something to help you uh, keep track of all of those. And so that's where today's sponsor, Keeper, comes into play. I've been a longtime Keeper user, and here's why. Keeper is the most secure, certified, tested, and audited password security platform in the world. Uh, I can rest easy knowing my accounts are protected with full zero trust and zero knowledge security. It works on every platform and every device, including the Vision Pro. There is a Vision Pro app that you can use with Keeper, and Keeper supports passkeys too. Plus, you can easily share logins with friends and family using their hyper-secure sharing capabilities. So amp up your online security with strong and unique passwords for every account and make your life easier with cross-platform functionality for every device. Seriously, typing on Vision Pro is pretty hard if you don't have a keyboard. And just the thought of having to type in all of those passwords sounds absolutely miserable to me. And so Keeper has really helped me fill in the gaps fill in my passwords and keep everything up and running and on my device. And so I'm absolutely grateful for them. And you can be too. Uh, my audience can get a massive 50% off with the code MACRUMORS50, or you can give it a test run with a free 30-day trial if you want to. Try it out, see what you think. And then if you end up wanting to sign up, you can do that and use the code MACRUMORS50 to get 50% off. You'll find the link and everything in the description down below. And yeah, shout out to Keeper, and thank you for sponsoring today's video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.